Hello, Namaste to everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the very important topic. It is the three term description of consonants. Mainly we are focusing on the consonants, how to describe it in three criteria. First is voice quality, second is place of articulation and manner of articulation. In here, uh, the according to the voicing or voice quality, first, uh, first criteria is voice quality. According to voice, voice quality, first we have to find out these nine sounds, these nine sounds are voiceless. First we have to find out. First we have to find out that these nine sounds are voiceless, other sounds are voiced. Except these sounds. First you have to understand which sounds are voiced and voiceless. First criteria is this. Voiceless are potok of fatha hashishacha. You can make it as formula also. Potok of fatha hashishacha. Potok of fatha hashishacha. According to this, we have to do the three term description of all consonant sounds. First criteria is voiceless or voice, then place of articulation. First, we, uh, then we have to do according to the place of articulation. Then it's bilabial, labidental, dental, alveolar, palatal, alveolar, palatal, velar, or glottal. First, then we have to go in this way, then in vertical way. Then third criteria is we have to go according to the manner. Manner means in a stops, nasal, fricative, affricate, lateral, trill or semi vowel in this way you have to write let's see some examples then you uh, we will understand it cleared okay we have done of uh, for sound okay for sound for sound is in voiceless then according to place of articulation there is in it is in bilabial and according to uh, manner of articulation it is in stops then uh, what will happen if we do for sound in voiceless then in according to manner of articulation and according to bilabial what will happen this will be wrong because our system is first we have to do according to voice quality then we have to do according to place of articulation and according to manner of articulation so in exam or in uh, other uh, long question or short question any uh, type of exam we should take care about that means uh, according to voice quality voiced or voiceless then according to place of articulation then according to manner of articulation this is the order order of describing three term description if you write uh, according to voiceless or voiced then manner of articulation or place of articulation it will be wrong so the order is first play, uh, voiced or voiceless first quality but we have written here, here uh, voice quality in third number but the order is uh, first is voice quality then second is a uh, place of articulation and then third is manner of articulation so uh, you need to understand first is voice quality voiceless then other are voiced then according to according to place of articulation and manner of articulation Okay, how to describe a uh, to sound and bo sound? To sound first, uh, it is in yeah voiceless. It is in voiceless. Then, according to place of articulation, it is in alveolar, and according to manner of articulation, it is in stops. Then bo sound. Yeah, it is not in here. Means it is not in voiceless group. It is so voiced bo. Then labiodental according to place of articulation. Then it is in fricative. So, its three term description is voiced, labiodental, and fricative. This is it is the order. So you can do all consonant sounds according to this three term description, or you can do three term description of all consonant sounds. This is the tricky way to find out how to describe in three term description. Okay, this much for today. Thank you.